What is up guys? Jake from OneHive here with the next war recap video and this is the one from the Black Lodge War and as you can see 135 to 110 they got the perfect war so no sense in really scrolling through that. They're all three starred uh, and we did we did well honestly. I I was I was proud of our guys. Um, hard fought war. I mean again with the with the massive Town Hall 10 advantage that they had uh, plus you know all the rest of it. Uh, that one Town Hall 10 there, I'm not sure what happened. We had a Town Hall 10 attack left. It was going to be a two-star. Uh, not sure what, if he just forgot or had something come up. Not sure. Uh, most of the Town Hall 9s cleaned up. But, I mean, it was just tough. They were, you know, this, I'm not sure how the weights even matched in this war. But they did. Uh, left a few uh, Town Hall 9s on the board. Not many. What do we got? One, two, three. Three talents. You know, good job to everybody. I had a terrible war. Uh, there were some ones that were really, really close. Uh, I think that one was pretty close, but this one was like a 90, 89. Uh, this one was 79. I don't know. They, you know, we had a couple of tough breaks, but not making excuses. Uh, those bases are definitely three star, but we just didn't get it done. But I am proud of everybody at One How. They did bring a strong performance, uh, did the best we could given the circumstances. Uh, it is what it is. Not much to say about a war like this. So we won't talk about it. We'll just, uh, let's see, let's look at some attacks. Let's look at the first one here. Uh, Town Hall 10 attacks, I'm not going to show. Guys, it was just not fair. They didn't get a chance to go for three stars. I mean, you know, when we when they had so many they had to hit, not all Town Hall 10 two stars are even perfect, especially on these guys' type bases. I mean, we're talking maxed out bases. Uh, it's not always easy. So nothing against our Town Hall 10s. They did an excellent job, uh, but we'll just focus on the three star attacks. Uh, right here, Hell coming in with a really nice attack on this base. And this is a, you'll look at this base because it, they all look a lot like this. They're maxed out Lava Walls 30-30 heroes. Uh, so right here, he's just going to create a funnel with his minions there, dropping them down, getting everything ready. So he's got those four, uh, excuse me, four healers. He's going to plop down on this queen right here. Boom, boom. There she goes. She is absolutely taken care of now. Even with a couple point defense on her, you're going to step up, grab a third uh, point defense and X bow. So he has to use that rage. Very nicely placed. All those healers in that rage are going to keep her up. You look, see how they can do that, guys? When you've got four healers in a rage on that 30 queen, she is pretty beefy. Uh, you know, he had four point defense on him at once, one, one of them being an X bow, and lived right through it. So excellent job there. CC troops coming out. Uh, Lava Hound just going to take some time, really. He's just going to let that dip, let that play out, starting with this golem down here. Obviously, going to try to get in there and get that queen taken care of. Drops the king, and obviously, he's going to drop a jump right here. Creates that funnel to push that king into that archer tower. Once she comes out right there, that golem, boom, he's locked on. Going to grab her and take her out. So that's that. Right here, the poison you see drop down over here, getting ready for that uh, Lava Hound to explode. There it goes, and perfectly placed, because as they come in, uh, a lot of them go down, and the queen's going to grab the rest of them. Still being healed, so no big deal there. Look how she turned around and grabbed those uh, pups. That's post-update stuff, guys. Pre-update, she doesn't grab those pups. They sit there and beat on those healers the rest of the war, or rest of the battle. So that is that is a good thing. Uh, right here, after he gets the queen taken down, he's just coming in with his Lava Hounds, his balloons. You know, nice haste spells usage. Uh, just keeping those balloons moving from defense to defense very quickly. I even like that heal spell over there. Got that wizard tower he's dealing with, infernal tower, or excuse me, uh, Tesla popping up, and just keeps his balloons up just a little bit longer with it. So that was pretty cool. Uh, right here, the last lava hound goes down. Those back end loons go down, and you'll see that a lot of his balloons are starting to get pushed around because both sweepers are up. But luckily, this queen breaks through this wall in just a moment. She's going to step up, take out those two uh, Teslas, and that's going to save the day. Without that, I think this could have been a fail because again, those sweepers are really causing some trouble, uh, pointed in, in, in pretty good directions there. Right there, the queen steps up. Boom, boom. There goes the uh, Teslas. Now the uh, wizard tower goes down, and after that, it's GG. Just clean up time. So really nice attack by Hell. I thought that was a very difficult base, very well laid out base, and he took care of it pretty easily. So good job, Hell. Another uh, Golai Loon here. A couple of Golai Loons this war. Uh, just sort of what worked, I guess. Let's look at Moi taking on 23 Che. Uh, Che's an ex-1Hive member. Actually, a couple. we're going to see a couple ex-1Hive members get hit here. Uh, drops his Golems down. A few wizards, or actually a pretty good line of wizards, to uh, back them up, take out all that trash, and start moving into the base. Uh, once that's done, obviously you're going to drop that jump right there. Interesting placement on that jump. Wanted to, I guess, keep his uh, king and queen from going into that smaller compartment. Uh, queen comes over, drops the poison for the CC troops. 
right there. Uh, queen is in, about to, is engaged on the king. Actually takes him out because the king gets held up on the defensive king. But again, new troop AI, everything steps up. Uh, queen goes straight to work on those. Not distracted by anything. Takes them all down. I'm telling you guys, you're going to love it. If you haven't done attacks with it yet, uh, you are going to be happy. It's, it makes much more sense. You know how crazy it was before. The queen would be standing right there looking at defensive uh, defensive troops and just ignoring them. That's not going to happen anymore. So attacks are going to be a little easier to take care of those CC troops. Plus with that beefy poison spell now, I mean, if you place it right and the troops don't run out of it, you can take out pretty much anything with just it. So uh, I'm not sure about this update. We'll see. We'll give it a few wars, see what happens. Uh once that's all done, two air defenses down, the CC troops are down, the Queen's down. Here comes a Lava Hound attack coming in from a couple of different angles. Balloon's going down, drops that Rage spell to speed everything up. Uh, Queen's still up and in good shape, so really that's nice for cleanup. She is working on the wall, but she'll get through there. Uh, still has six balloons in the bag, so letting those balloons work through. Again, just standing in Rage is excellent spell placement on this. Just keeps those balloons working right through. You see both Lava Hounds get to the other side, start tanking for that air defense. And then he deploy, deploys the rest of his balloons, and that is that. Uh, just not enough defenses left to deal with it. We'll fast forward, because as soon as that air defense goes down, it is all over. Got a lot, quite a bit of cleanup to do, but again, he's got that cleanup. She's finally going to get outside the walls and start working her way around opposite of the balloons, which is perfect. They'll sort of meet in the middle, and that will be the three-star. Good job to moi. All right, you guys are going to like this one. Uh, Holy Buck taking on B.A., a uh, beautiful attack uses the suicide dragons. You'll see the two dragons down there, and this this is the key right here. I saw a few of these that went bad uh, because one of the dragons at least did not funnel in. Guys, you've got to make that funnel. The dragons are tricky. You, they're going to go to the closest building, and they don't care about anything else. They don't care what's there. So you've really got to prep it well, which uh, Holy Buck does here. Just taking out these all these. Or collectors down there. He's not in any hurry to drop his dragons down because he's starting his attack on the other side. He's not waiting for this to develop. He's doing it both at the same time. So that's pretty smart. Going to save him some time in the end. You see, he got his golems down, his wizards created the funnel. Got his king down, or excuse me, his queen down. King will be falling here shortly. Uh, and again, right here, as it, watch that collector. As soon as it goes down, he's dropping those dragons in. He does have a rage for them. Um, just a tip. I'm. If both of your dragons lock onto the queen, you don't actually need the rage. If only one of them does for some unknown reason, you need the rage. Because she, especially level 30 queen, she can take it down pretty quickly. Uh, so really, I don't think Holy Buck needed the rage here, but probably better safe than sorry. Uh, you see his hogs are already coming in. Queen's gotten into that core. Right there, he drops the rage. Look how quick this, they come over. Boom. There's the queen. One shot from each of them. She's done. Now the, the dragons can sort of clean up. They're standing in that rage. That's beautiful. Uh, here comes the rest of his hogs from the bottom. Again, golem in the middle tanking and the queen doing work. Absolutely perfect. King actually beat his way outside. He's going to be doing a little cleanup. That's all right. You still got them dragons going. Guys, on a base, when they really separate that queen from the air defense, this is the go-to strategy because not only does it take the queen out, but look at these dragons still doing work. Uh, it, it's huge. It really is. Right there at the end of the raid, makes bacon. These guys had very unusual uh, bomb placement, which is tricky. You know, it's not something you're used to, which is smart. Uh, sometimes it does make cleanup attacks a little easier, but... It is a good idea to, to not always have them so predictable, not in that perfect spot that everyone's going to be expecting it, because on that first attack, it really can trip people up. Uh, so right there, you see the dragon still doing some work on helping with clean up. You've got the wizards down on the outside here, uh, queen going up the middle. You've got that one cannon left, but it doesn't matter. The dragon's on it, going to take it out. Queen's coming in to help. Uh, it, another thing about those dragons, see, it, they, they're not the best cleanup troop, but they are decent. They ignore walls. They go right through. Just a beautiful attack by Holy Buck. All right, let's move down a couple here and look at Carl, Carl Drago uh, taking on number 26. You guys are going to like this too because I like it. I mean, I know we sort of have the same taste in attacks. Just different things just that are fun to watch. Look at that core, guys, if you'll notice it there, how it's got that section, that square with the uh, CC and all that. Uh, right there on the corner of that, boom, drops those earthquake spells down now his troops with those 10 valves have access to three of the four air defenses also look at a cc that is a lava hound he's got 11 balloons and a lava hound their job is to clear everything on the on sort of the bottom half of this attack uh everything's coming in the bottom here king's down you see that also the queen will come into that middle compartment uh catching that corner was this whole raid if he didn't catch it it was over 
Uh, but here in just a minute, as these valves clear out some more trash buildings, uh, everything is going to move into that center compartment. The queen's going to engage. They'll take her out, uh, and boom, that will be that. Excellent, excellent setup for this attack. And then right here, bringing the lava hound in at, the, at per perfect angle, soaking up as much damage as he can, most trap possibilities he can soak up. And then just here he comes with his balloons. He does have a few haste spells for him, which is perfect. Just get him moving, get him going through that base. The lava hound's binding plenty of time. He's taken out, what, probably four to five defenses already. The uh, queen actually does come over. Uh, not the queen. Looks like a wizard or something actually came over and grabbed that air defense, which was perfect. Uh, drops that last haste in these back-end balloons. And this is just, it just devastated this base. Beautiful, beautiful attack. Uh, right there, the last expo going down. All that's left is that archer tower, but that's not going to be enough. You see the hound still doing some tanking. Uh, just love it. Love the attack. Excellent creativity. Uh, using that odd combination of, of Valks and with a Lava Hound, usually you don't see that, so very, very nice. All right, let's get a couple more, and we'll, we'll wrap up here. Uh, Sam, taking on their number 30. Let's see, another another Earthquake attack. Uh, you know, these are just, they're, they're kind of fun to watch. Drops down the Queen, uh, starts taking out, let's see here, taking out the, the Army Camp. Pushing that queen in the direction he wants her to go, that went perfectly. Because not only did he get the army camp, he stepped up and got another defense, or another trash building, guaranteeing the queen's going to travel the direction he wants. So that's a good setup there. Uh, just going to let that part develop, and he is going to be coming at the queen. Let's see, he doesn't have a jump here. What's he doing? Now? He opened up that compartment. I'm trying to remember, guys. Sorry, I've watched a bunch of attacks. Uh, He's got the wall breakers. Okay, once he opens up this compartment right here, see, so he let the queen empty out that skinny compartment. And once it's emptied out, the, the wall breakers are going, they're not going to the uh, to that skinny compartment. It's empty. They're going to this big one right here, right where he wants it to go. Now he's got access all the way to that town hall. Look how far he can go into this base. Beautiful setup there. Uh, drops the poison, letting those troops come out and start getting in, in the middle of them. Really going to slow them down. It also now slows their attack speed, not only their movement speed, but attack speed. And then watch how quickly they start to go down here. Look at this. Once that, they're in that poison for a while, it really ramps up. And then one shot from that queen under that rage, and it's over. Uh, King runs in, takes the defensive queen out. And then again, he's, he's got access to the core here. He's got access to all of these air defenses through his queen. Uh, King's doing some tanking, doing some work. Golems are in there still doing some tanking. Here come the balloons already, which is perfect. Uh, you see that Golem almost took out that last air defense. One shot from the Queen, it goes down. Now she's targeted on the last AD. Balloons coming from every side of the base left. Uh, just, a, just a wall of balloons. I love it. Just such a, such a neat attack uh, when it works like that. Just take out all the ADs and then just swarm that thing with balloons. Excellent, excellent job. We'll fast forward just a little bit. Because all he's going to do is bomb those out and then just a little bit of cleanup. The cleanup is well underway, as you can see. Not much left, really. Just some of these storages, and he, those balloons are going to take them out pretty quick with that queen cell. Excellent attack by Sam. All right, we're going to look at one more, and it's our boy Trey. Poor Trey caught caught some bad luck on his uh, ninja life attack. It, it was just it was a good attempt. It just didn't work out. But this one, he absolutely crushed it. Brought a few Valks, brought some um, archers. This might be the biggest queen walk I've ever seen at Town Hall 9, to be perfectly honest. Uh, just sent, just this queen, watch where she ends up. Look where she's starting at. Watch where she ends up. Look what he gets for his queen. Love those hogs right there. Took out that Tesla, then that cannon. Everything's targeting those that queen. They're just waltzing their way right in. Uh, really helped her out a lot there as well. So that was very, very nice. Not to mention, they grabbed that CC lure. Uh, you see he does have a rage here. I think he's... Actually, he's using that poison. He might not use his rage. He uses the queen's ability. Goes ahead and uses that. Uh, I think that will do it. Again, she's starting to shoot a wall here, but watch how she's going to retarget, I believe. Does use the rage on it. Goes ahead and grabs it right here in just a second. She's going to get through that wall. She's going to retarget. Boom. There they go. Almost take her down on that one bomb drop they got off, but with those rage healers, uh, he took care of it. Now, again, a lot of time invested in this, but he's... Just watch this queen. Takes out the defensive queen. Another thing that she does beautifully. She jumps the wall. She's in range. Boom. She goes down. Now his kill squad, all that's ready to go in. He's got his hogs ready. But the queen's not done. She's still going, still taking out defenses. I'm telling you, this is a this is a world record queen walk. It's just unbelievable. Opens that uh, compartment up with some wall breakers. Has a nice funnel created. Again, those sort of precision hogs when everything else is tanking. They just help move through those defenses a little bit quicker. And it's worth it. It's just a few troop space. You do it, and uh, you really it sort of pays off. Drops the three Valks down to help his, his king out. 
Uh, jump spells perfect. Golems going in. Valks are going in. Kings going in. Uh, again, liking these little few little drop a hog here, drop a hog there techniques. Uh, that air defense is going to go down, and that uh, watch that hog over there. He's actually going to run in, take out another defense. The mortar can't target him now. Uh, everything else is focused on the other part of the raid. That expo is being taken care of. Uh, his Valks are pretty much done right here. I think he's got one left. Nice placement on that heel. Grabs that bomb. Look at the queen. Oh, yeah, I forgot about her, except for she's still wrecking this base. Unbelievable. I mean, she's went, she's went, when, she, when it's over, she goes 180 degrees around the base, just taking out defenses, taking out trash buildings. Uh, there just wasn't even much left for his hogs to deal with, to be perfectly honest. Absolutely crushed that base. Uh, beautiful, beautiful attack by Trey. We'll fast forward because that is definitely a three star. All right, guys, that is it. Again, uh, we'll just sort of have a seat on our donut pillows for a day or two, and we will be fine. Don't worry about us. But uh, we will, I think we might have a, a, a range of war. We're trying to get one, I think, for this weekend. So hang tight. We'll try to grab that. Uh, I will probably won't be in it, but I obviously will do a recap on it. I've got a lot of stuff going on, and we'll be out of town this weekend. So... Is what it is. Also, guys, I'm going to have a coffee and clash up for you guys tomorrow. So be watching for that, and you're going to see some more attacks from this war because there was a lot of guys that did a lot of good attacks. Uh, so hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, Jake from One Hive, doing my best to help you guys suck less.